Hello everyone. Uh, I'm going to be doing a review on this uh, 14 gallon gas tank that I bought, bought off Amazon. Uh, this is the Scepter FDM G141. Uh, 14 gallon flow and go Duramax fuel can. So the reason I the reason I bought it is because of well that generator down there in case we ever lost power for some reason you know I'd have 14 gallons or whatever just kind of sitting sitting ready to be used uh, so it says 14 gallons I filled it up to about like 12 um, 12, 12 and a half gallons before it started getting real full and almost spitting out so you got um, the air valve here which will allow the gas to flow easier when you actually have the nozzle hooked up and this comes off and you can tell it's filled with gas like I said it's pretty I mean it's pretty close to the top I don't know if you can see that or not but I've had gas sitting in this thing for I don't know like three days and it hasn't leaked out so that's that's a good sign so I'm probably gonna store it laying down like this that way I don't have to worry about you know anything leaking out of the top or coming out here while it's stored but you can put it up and it sits like that and then you have this hose it's not an electric pump or anything it uses gravity so one of the things it says is uh, this has to be higher than what you're putting gas into so I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up and then put some gas in my generator see how well it works all right so I've got the hose hooked up super easy you know just screwed in here you've got two um, on and off uh, valves uh, one at the gas tank and one at the beginning of the um, tube and this is if I had to guess it's probably about 10 feet long I'm 6'5 and it's way longer way longer than I am tall so I got plenty plenty of reach so I'm gonna go ahead and stick that in there and we're gonna open up the, the valves first at the gas tank so nothing nothing seems to be leaking so that's good and then at the hose I can hear it I can hear it coming down already oh I gotta get the bleed valve open air valve vent it's called a vent right, so now we're down here and see what happens there it goes actually flowing pretty good not too hateful so yeah I'm gonna put a little bit in here and everything seems to work out just fine so let's see how quick it cuts off almost all the way now the only thing I'm worried about is now I'm done using it pretty sure maybe this will drain it the rest of the way but I feel like there's gonna be extra gasoline here obviously so if I take this off it's gonna come out so let's see if I can finish draining it probably not because of the air lay back down Open the valves back up. Pick the hose up and let it drain back in. Make sure you squeeze the trigger when you do that. Alright, there you go. That's a re review for this uh, 14 gallon gas container. It's been a little bit of gas, but it's alright, it's not gonna hurt anything. I'll spray off the deck. See you guys later.